All right, gonna show you the evil fruit of feminism on full display. Uh, feminism turns women into a bunch of baby murderers, and it turns uh, people into having no conscience at all into just killing their unborn children. That's the evil fruit of feminism. And I'm gonna show you an article from Protestia about how radical feminists shout demonic pro-abortion chant outside of a church. And they're busy chanting, put that fetus in the bin. This is what feminism turns you into if you're a woman out there and you know it's being so-called liberated when really when you get an abortion most women who get abortions are depressed and they're and they're miserable but this is in uh sydney australia so and, and not to mention too abortion and feminism are part of a jesuitical agenda of white genocide the jesuits are pushing this agenda of white genocide and abortion and feminism are part of that agenda Plus, abortion and feminism are just blatantly unscriptural, too. And they just, they ruin society. But, I'm going to read this article. A group of radical feminists unmasked themselves for, for the diabolical organization they are, gathering outside of St. Mary's Cathedral in Sydney, Australia, and engaging in a horrific death chant. The University of Sydney, Sydney's Women's Collective, known as WOCO, organized a protest outside the church to counter-protest, quote, Day of the Unborn Child, unquote an annual pro-life event that also fell on World Down Syndrome Day, which celebrate the lives of children with Down Syndrome. Uh, in Australia, around 93% of babies with Down Syndrome are aborted, according to a recent study. Here's their little protest they're holding. Let me just open that image. This is their little protest they're trying to hold to uh, take your, basically want to take your tax money to kill their own baby so they can go out and be a harlot and a whore and a prostitute, and then take your tax money to kill their own child. But this is their little protest. And this looks like it's probably a Catholic church. And of course, the Catholic church is not Christianity. The Roman Catholic church is a pagan Greco-Roman religion repackaged. And the Jesuits are a satanic cult, a um, murderous military order by the Roman Catholic church to forcibly bring people back under the control of Rome. And by the way, it was Jesuit trained Supreme Court justices that helped legalize abortion. So abortion was legalized by the Jesuits. But anyway, the vocal bills the WOCO bills itself as a, quote, feminist collective of students dedicated to anti-colonial, anti-capitalist, and intersectional feminism. Funny thing, I mean, I'm not, like, a big fan of capitalism. Capitalism has its benefits. Capitalism has its problems. But these main, all these people who hate capitalism so much always benefit from it. So it's, they're hypocrites a lot of times. Uh, they, are, they say they are uh, a horizontal, aut autonomous organizing space for radically left-wing feminist activism, unquote who is, quote, one of the most radical and active campus feminist collectives in the country, unquote. Uh, and they are, quote, unapologetically ab abolitionist and anti-capitalist collective that fights for true liberation from police, prisons, and capitalist exploitation, unquote, because it, quote, is that these intersections where the worst patriarchal violence resides. Yeah, look at these, these bunch of Jezebels here. Disgusting. And that filthy image right there of that, you know, woman dressed like a harlot. It shows during the rally they shouted at the church, quote, we will fight, we will win, put the fetus in the bin. This is the true mindset of these wicked feminist Jezebel witches right here. And they, and they, uh, you know, expletive, F the church, F the state, uh, we will, de we will decide our fate. Of course, you know, using profanity like a bunch of Jeze Jeze Jezebels that they are. Uh, this was one, this was one lone pro-life advocate there was one lone pro-life advocate on the other side of the street while the event was ta was taking place pro pro-choice activists like it like a little terms pro-choice no they're, they're pro-baby murder that's all they are uh aaron o'leary pointed to her and and told a local paper that she was standing uh what she was standing for was hateful and she says as a queer first nations woman oh great she's a sodomite too i've been oppressed oppressed with this religion my ancestors have been oppressed with this religion this is hate this is just plain hate i don't understand why we put a book written 2000 years ago uh, over the life of a woman over the life of a human being you care so much about something that isn't even alive but you'll say to a woman's face that you don't care about her life uh the fetus is alive it has a heartbeat it's got a blood flow it can have a different cell type it can have a different dna type it is alive okay Funny, because these same hypocrites, if they if they were to discover single-celled life on Mars, they would say, look, we found life. But then a multi-celled baby in the womb is somehow not life. 
hypocrites. If a pregnant woman is killed, then the murderer is charged with double homicide because he killed the woman and the baby inside of her. But then somehow when a, when a guy in a white coat kills the baby, somehow not murder. So it's ridiculous. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the article. But uh, this is the corrupt fruit of feminism. I'm going to show you a verse, two verses of scripture that perfectly describe these wicked Jezebels here. Uh, 1 Samuel 15, 23. Uh, for, the rebellion, for rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also, also rejected thee from being king. So yes, rebellion is a sin of witchcraft, and feminism is rebellion, and thus it's a sin of witchcraft. According to 1 Samuel 15, 23. And another scripture I want to bring up is Revelation chapter 2. Uh, I think it's, where is it? Revelation 2. Here it is, Revelation 2.20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Uh, verse 21, And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. And, you know, it goes down, but it perfectly describes the feminists. They want to go out and commit fornication and be a prostitute, and then take my tax money to kill their own child. Disgusting. So this is the corrupt fruit of feminism. And yes, feminism is cancer. Uh, and of course, I don't like using making jokes about cancer, but it perfectly describes feminism. This is the corrupt fruit of feminism, the evil fruit, the evil results of feminism. So don't, don't get sucked into feminism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.